That mid-range category is becoming tougher and tougher every day and we have a new contender with the Blue Pure XR. The XR is a 299 smartphone of 5.5 inches from Blue Products. So yes, the guys who make the R1 HD, that awesome budget device. The Blue Pure XR here spots a USB Type-C port, a headphone jack powered by DTS audio, which actually gives you some pretty good sound, and a speaker grill at the bottom all metallic design with at 7.7 millimeters. It's a really thin device altogether. And I think it's a device that a lot of people will definitely like just in terms of aesthetics and looks. I think Blue has done a fantastic job in blending some nice design acumen to making this a more appealing device overall. Now you've got slight curvature, of course, at the back, as well as the front of this device. And in terms of the camera there, you see you have a 16 megapixel rear camera, which we'll take a look at some of the camera images later on, LED flash. It is powered by the new Helio P10 processor, uh, this two gigahertz processor with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable up to 64 gigabytes by micro SD. Blue definitely needs to change that. And this is a dual SIM device. Now, as, as typical with all blue packaging, you get a lot of stuff in there. You get some, some earbuds so you can listen to music, which is nice. You also have your USB Type-C to USB cable uh, for data transfer and charging. You've got a USB Type-C to USB adapter, uh, just in case you wanna use different cables. You've also got a travel plug for your device, SIM removal tool, and uh, of course, a protective back cover case. Now, it also comes with a screen protector, so you know blue covers you on all aspects. Now, that display is a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED 1080p display for one PPI. It's not a 2K display like last year's model, but still it is a very vibrant display. I do like the look and feel of this display altogether. Hopefully, I was hoping for a 2K display, but I think it's still done a good job and you know what, at that $300 price point, you might want to keep things balanced so that people can afford it. Fingerprint sensor is fast on this device, yeah. It is that fast, and which is nice because it also acts as a home button. Now, navigating through with the Helios P10 processor and four gigs of RAM, this thing is smooth and butter fast, running, of course, Android 6.0 with its custom UI, which means you do not have, of course, an app tray. Now, you can load a launcher if you want to, so that's something you can definitely do. Uh, pulling down the top, you've got the note notice management, which is something Blue's had in its UI uh, interface for a while, where, of course, you can manage your applications and set set some of the applications out there. It's a nice added feature, but something I don't think it really is that necessary. Going back to the home screen, uh, if you uh, scroll up from the bottom, you have your, your notification um, icon tray. So you can, of course, your quick access menu to different things uh, like your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, things like that. You can also customize that quick action area, uh, or your quick action settings, if you will, and move applications or at least settings options into the top eight uh, uh, setting. So that's something you can do uh, directly from there. But uh, it's a little disjointed coming from the bottom and from the top. So I think that's something that hopefully Blue will change in the future. Now going to the settings though, you have a couple of things you want to talk about. Again, this is a dual SIM device. So you can manage your dual SIM um, activities here. Uh, if you have two SIM cards, uh, the display, as I mentioned, 1080p display, adaptive display. Uh, you've got some display functionalities. You can, of course, do uh, a screencast if you want to. Uh, another thing I think a lot of people will, will definitely like, of course, is some of the other options. You've got some smart gesture options allowing you to uh, do things, of course, like uh, double tap to wake the device and things like that. But you also have 3D touch, or as I like to call it, magic touch, uh, similar to uh, 3D touch you find on the iPhone. This allows you to, of course, peer into applications and things like that much more easily. And uh, we'll show you uh, a quick demo of how this actually works. I was quite impressed it works quite effectively. Of course, not every application uh, uses uh, this option yet, but it's something we hope to see. So you can go, for instance, to the gallery, I can hold down, you can see an image, you can get more information on that image if you want to, uh, which is nice. So you can go into multiple images here. Now, word of note, all the wallpapers you see in this video will be on our Pinterest page afterwards. Now, some of this, of course, work with certain applications. So that's the gallery application. I can use the 3D touch. 
uh, as well to peer in, uh, see the latest uh, doodle, beautify, whatever the case may be, or even my, my note uh, application. Again, doesn't work with all applications, but some. Now the camera app is one place where I have to say Blue has definitely done some really good improvements. It's got a professional mode, which is something everybody's doing now. So I'm glad they added this in here and allows you to actually do more and, uh, and create some really nice images, which we'll see in a second. But you can go in, of course, I'm going to take this image right here and add that to the menu. You can customize and change your ISO, your exposure, so you can get the right kind of shot you want with this camera. Um, you can change your white balance. Uh, you can also change, you know, the focus, do a manual focus, things like that. So given uses that ability to actually take advantage of the camera is nice. And they've gone from a 24 megapixel camera to 16. Uh, the mega megapixels as, uh, you know, Mr. Juan Bagnell would say is not the main decided factor. You know, the way it captures light is more important. You've got other aspects in the settings menu there. Uh, and um, looking at some of the other options, you've got, of course, light trail, night mode. You've got a plethora of options to give you more with this camera. So I was quite impressed that they added more to this. You can also create GIFs with the camera too. So this is something which is pretty nice. People like to do that. So I can actually just create my little uh, GIF or GIF, whichever way you like to pronounce it right there. And, you know, just playing that off, you can see it's created one for me. It's about six seconds long. So this camera has a lot of functionality that I think a lot of people will definitely like uh, and, and puts in a, a, a lot that I think puts blue forward you know with its flagship device so i like that i like that they've actually done this here uh with the blue pro xr now look at some images here uh you can see the camera does a really good job this is a, this all the initial images here in auto I'm um, just giving you a good idea of how well this captures. This is in San Francisco, in Chinatown. Uh, you can see the lighting and the contrast, really nice uh, capture right here. So it does a really good job in daylight. Now this is at nighttime. You can see uh, there's a, some saturation as well as also pixelation on the side, but still does a decent job at nighttime. And when you kick in the pro mode, this is uh, all the other photos you see are from the pro mode here. It really does a good job here. You can really customize how you want your image to look. Uh, the, you know, the kind of contrast you want to get, you can see Superman and Batman here posing together, really nice images you can get from this. And I really like this image here. Uh, I can see, of course, the, uh, the lighting coming through, of course, the blinds, Batman looks pretty nice, uh, good detail in the images. I also wanted to show you this two images taken from in front of the headphone wall using the pro mode with the Philips, uh, hue light in the background, just by changing my shutter speed, you can see how the photo changes from one to another one's light a little a little brighter and purple one's darker and a little more blue because you have a pro camera uh, feature set and also a really good camera on this device so i like the fact that they've done well improving the camera making it something worthwhile so i think blue's done a very good job improving the camera there now the helio p10 processor of course has some really good performance with four gigs of ram this thing handles games with a breeze there's no issues whatsoever and i think a lot of gamers will like that you can play whatever game you have with this processor on this phone and uh, you will get some really really solid performance so let's take a look at some of the gameplay right here I should also mention the Blue Pure XR comes with a 3000 milliamp battery and quick charging. So you can actually charge your device much faster, but your battery life should be around 28 hours. This thing does a really good job in battery performance. So I absolutely love it there. It's probably done more than 28 at in some instances, but the device has been snappy. It's been smooth. I love the performance altogether. And I also love the camera. The camera is much improved from last year. And I have to say they've done a good job in handling certain things. It still really records at 1080p which is a bummer hopefully they can add 4k recording down the line but i have to say that i've really enjoyed this device all around now uh, my only downside is the ui itself i'm not the biggest fan you know the lack of the app tray is something that i just don't like so hopefully they improve that as they move forward but if you're looking to pick up uh, this device you're quite interested definitely use our amazon link down below to pick up the blue pure uh, xr it's only 2.99 and i think this is worth picking up for that price point i think they've done a good job plus you're getting a device that comes with all the accessories that you need 
because usually blue packs everything in there for you so if you guys have any questions or any comments let us know don't forget to like and share this video favorite this video and again if you want to pick one up use the link down below and always enjoy your entertainment